Welcome to another vSecure Processing tutorial. Today we're going to cover everything you need to know about ACH payments and how to process them from within the virtual terminal. So what is ACH? Automated Clearinghouse, or ACH, is created when the customer gives another party authorization to debit directly from their checking or savings account for the purpose of payment. So why use ACH? It costs less than your typical card transaction, yet is more secure than taking a paper check, making it an ideal solution to add as an additional payment option for your customer. Now that we know what ACH is and some of the benefits, let's go over how to run an ACH transaction on the virtual terminal. I've logged into my virtual terminal and here at the top I want to go to transaction and hit sell. Now we have a few options here at the top and we want to select ACH. Okay, first we'll need the routing and account number, which are located here and here at the bottom of the check. I'll go ahead and fill those out. Put in the bank name. Select whether it's from a checking or savings account. Don't worry about token yet, I'll go over that later in the video. Make sure to put the customer's name. The phone number's optional. Street address. City, state, and zip. For the type of sale, I'll select in-store. Again, don't worry about token right now. Put in the amount and select process. This will ask me to confirm the charge. And now I get an ACH debit successful. I can print this receipt out if I'd like or press next to return to my home screen. It's also worth noting you can use ACH payments on recurring and tokenized transactions as well. I'll briefly cover this in the video. For a more in-depth look, check out our recurring and token videos linked in the description below. First, I'll roll over recurring and select create payment and press ACH at the top of the screen. Now this is very similar to what we did before, but at the top you can select the frequency of which the payment will take place, a start and end date, as well as a custom ID. This could be used for your own records to help look up this transaction at a later time. Next, I can go to token and create token transaction. Again, select ACH at the top. Then fill out the information here to tokenize your ACH payment. Now the last thing I wanna go over is how to do ACH voids. If I roll over transactions, you'll notice you have an ACH debit void, and credit. It's important to note you can only perform a void on a transaction that took place the same business day. Otherwise, you'll need to refund the customer by using an ACH credit. This concludes our video on ACH payments. Please contact us if you have any questions or comment on the video below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.